hey guys snaps here welcome to my youtube channel i am excited to have you join me in this tutorial and in this tutorial i want to walk you through a theme called xstore uh, xstore wordpress woocommerce team literally arguably one of the best wordpress team you can ever find out there in my many years of working woocommerce just few uh just matter of fact just two uh themes they have been able to wow me themes that i can call complete theme flexible theme that just a one-stop solution for every WooCommerce a website you might want to design out there and extra is just one of them as a matter of fact extra is number one and the other one is number two i'm not sure i want to mention uh, names right now but this tutorial is strictly for extra i just want to walk you through what you can do with this theme i love the fact that we can use elementor and wp bakery page builder but if you are following me you know that i'm the elementor guy i just anything that works with elementor is my friend literally and if you come down here on your website as you can see on the screen here it says that uh, the most powerful flexible wordpress woocommerce theme and literally it is with over more than 30 pre-built uh, demos you have everything you need uh, here for you to design any WooCommerce website. This will come in handy for designers, for developers, uh, quite a number of things. Talking about even Elementor, one thing I just want to tell you as a secret is that having this theme is equal to having Elementor Pro, literally, and I will show you in this tutorial. So there's a lot I want to talk about in this tutorial because uh, this theme in itself. I just feel I can't exhaust everything about this theme in one video, but I will try my best. So as you can see here, 130 pre-built website. You can see you can filter down between Elementor. You can check fantastic, fantastic themes here. NFT crypto marketplace, web agency. You can even use this to design a, a sports site, uh, industrial part tool, SEO. You can use this to design your SEO website. Uh, luxury jewelry website spices kit store home decor uh, a number of things here your rtl website as you can see here fantastic fantastic thing uh, so i will leave uh, a link to this in the video description so you can check out for this thing it's not an affiliate link sincerely it's not uh, it will take you to Team Forest here where you can buy this theme for just $59. And it's a fantastic theme. You can add this to cart. You can check out. If you don't have an account with Team Forest, you can create one. If you do, then you know your way around. So if you have access to download this theme, you should also have access to your license key. You will need that for you to be able to use this theme. Another thing I would encourage that you do immediately you pick up your license key is for you to come to their website here, eTheme.com, and then you can create an account here with your license key. I already have an account here created, so uh, but if I were to open this possibly in an incognito window, so as you can see here, I have the option to create an account. So if I hit create an account button. So I can just put my email address, my display name, my password, and also the password again. And then I can put my purchase code here and I can create an account. Uh, creating an account here has a number of benefits because you would have access to your support. I like how responsive they have. Very, very fast and efficient. So you can come to extra support. You also have access to the uh, forum. And I think that's quite fantastic so you can see this is your forum here you can see what other people are saying you can learn you can contribute in the community and you can just create a topic uh, so you can create a ticket so as well uh, there's something about community really that really gives you that sense of together and i love it when i have a product that have a community like this where i can interact with other users of the same product is a fantastic thing and also you can come down here you have access to the documentation your videos so you can see step by step videos in your playlist walking you through all of the products and i think that's quite very 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 amazing another thing i want to talk about briefly before i go straight into this tutorial is uh hosting accounts appropriate for a theme like extra 
So I didn't if you ask me if it is WooCommerce an established blown WooCommerce website that you can design with Xstore, I would encourage you to invest in way to hosting. So if you have been following my YouTube channel for a while, you know that I'm recommending just uh two basic hostings and then another one uh three basically uh the, the next one is optional and that is side ground. Uh, so if you have bugs and you just want to get quality you can go for side ground but basically if you want uh, a very very good hosting at the cheapest that will serve you with good server resources and speed it hosting is my recommended i re i have majority of my established website on it hosting and i've not had any reason to change whatsoever uh, if you are looking at the budget friendly hosting if you have a very small budget for your project uh, you are not looking to spend huge ton of money on marketing on your WooCommerce store. You just want to start small. You want to sell to a small set of people and you want to grow your brand over the years with the little resources you have. Then Hostinger is recommended. So you would uh, see a link to both Hostinger and A2 Hosting and or even SiteGround in the video description. Uh, you they are all they are all after the link i'll get a commission if you buy through my link but that's my recommendation that's my sincere recommendation for people uh for hostinger i have a coupon code and i also have series of tutorials i've done around hostinger and also a walkthrough video for it hosting in case you need guide setting up your website for the purpose of this tutorial i have set up uh a staging a more like a staging environment here where we'll be using to design this website uh, so i can come to the back end. so this is a default wordpress 2024 theme so i can come to the back end of this website so you can see this is a to optimize highly optimized for speed uh fantastic fantastic turbo servers you will get with a to hosting so it's highly recommended if you really really want to have a fast blazing woocommerce website uh then i will recommend it host so whatever works for you is fine uh, but I will be using it to host things, so I just need to come to appearance and come to themes. And I have the default theme here installed, so I can just add a new theme. You can go to Theme Forest for you to find your your downloadable files. But I just love, I like the fact that I can do more outside of Theme Forest. So basically, if I come to my eight themes account and I come to dashboard. You can see I have my license here as well, so I can come down here and then I can see all my downloadable files. You can see extra installable archive, I can download it. I already have this downloaded into my computer, so I won't be downloading that. So, a lot, a lot that I can uh, download from here the extra core, the AMP files for extra in case you want to have AMP. So, I can come here and come and download. Uh, but i wouldn't be doing that right now like i said i have this so let's upload this and then i can just choose my file so i have my extra uh theme here so i can just install that we have this plugin installed and the next thing we want to do is to activate this good stuff so this theme has been installed and activated and there's a pop-up for a video here i would want to close this uh no no ready to go through that what you can see on my screen here is the x store control panel and it's a fantastic panel super simple super easy to use welcome to x store that's the first thing you would see here and you can see an installation guide here but you don't need to uh, follow this guide because you're already following these tutorials and the next thing you will see here is theme registration you need to bring in your license code here for you to be able to use this theme and use every future on theme so you can get your code in team forest or you can get it on their website so i'll go to their website and then uh so uh, i have my license here so i'll just copy my license so i can just just it's this copy code here and that's it and then i can come back to my store here and then i'll paste this here and then i'll hit the register button this will bring this pop up here and this is what i love about extra theme despite the fact that your license covers for one live website this team also understand the fact that you may need to set you may need to set up staging website or staging server just like i am doing right now so it gives you the opportunity to set up two staging servers and then one live website 
however your staging server needs to have uh, some form of domain name that suggests that it is staging server they have all this documentation on your website you can read up so for me uh, so you need to set up a url like dev dot your website dot com or staging dot your all these kind of things or a tutorial or you would see all those things in their documentation so you can't just pick any live website and you call it a staging website so for the purpose of this example this is a staging website so i would take this as a staging so i'll take this as staging website and i'll hit the next button and then i would definitely agree uh data consent i might need to do that too as well manual domain verification i want to turn this on to as well so i can register my theme and that's it so team successfully registered so the next thing you can do is to go to import demo and you can see that here so i'll click this and that will bring us here so as we saw on their live website we have one and thirty plus demo website here we can import so you can scroll down to check all of the demos but i just want to filter this down because i am not using wp bakery so i want to use elemental so i just want to see demos that work strictly with elemental so if you scroll down you will see that you have quite a number of demos here from furniture to grocery market yoga accessory there is literally no kind of website you want to build you can you can find a very close template that you can use here so you can just scroll down and scroll down and scroll down and just find fantastic fantastic uh, demos here but for the purpose of this example i just want to pick up any random one uh, maybe this sneaker will be beautiful so if you over around it you can preview what this uh, template look like so if i click the preview button another page will open up here like this so now i can see what this demo looks like so this is a website selling just basically sneakers so you scroll down here you can see men shoes women you can see this is what this website looks like super simple super simple super simple website here i think this uh, template is good for us to use like i told you i'm not trying to design an extraordinary woocommerce website you would be able to design that yourself you'd be able to design a website that meets your own specification if you follow my tutorial they've got lots of templates you can work around uh, so i can close this right now and then let's just import this into our website yeah so this will open up a setup wizard like this so you can just follow the prompt go to the next step uh it will ask you to create and use child's team i personally don't like installing child's team except i know for a fact that i want to change the template of the theme i want to use i want to add my own code to change things significantly aside from that there is no need to use a child's team if you know that you don't uh, if you know that you are not a developer you're not going to be changing template of this website just keep this but for the purpose of this example i would just continue and then yeah the child's team has been created and activated successfully so let's go to the next step and then we need to install required plugins so you can see all those plugins have been marked for this uh demo we want to install so let's install these plugins Uh, so we have our plugins installed and then the next thing is for us to bring in our full demo content so let's install this so our demo content is important so we are going to give this time to finish up sneakers demo successfully installed fantastic so we can preview our website by clicking this so let's see what our website looks like right now yeah cool so we have our website here uh the same demo we saw there we now have here right now on our website how super cool is this so we can scroll down for us to see what we have so you can see beautiful beautiful every of the product here is out of stock um, uh, 
good 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 stuff so beautiful beautiful so we can see we have our instagram here we have our footer here this is a very very beautiful website uh, in my opinion so right now i think i want to spend time trying to show you all the things you can do with this website and this is where this theme is extremely powerful so let's come to back to the back end here and let's close this and let me walk you through this website all together so now installing this right now you can see that we have quite a number of things right now our wordpress dashboard have changed significantly uh, so right now we have a place for x store theme option x store builder sales booster email builders widget slide static blocks portfolio fantastic stuff here so every of the menu items you have here you also find in their control panel but these ones have been highlighted maybe because they are places people go to frequently but if you come down here you can come to the welcome that was where we were initially and also you have theme options you have your x store builder then a demo content session here where we can import our demo content we can delete this content in case we don't want to use it again i want to bring in other content and then also build sales booster and i'm going to talk about this eventually i'm going to talk about every of the things items that we can play here with this theme and this is where this theme is pretty 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 fantastic uh, so let's come to theme options first let's walk through uh theme options so this is literally the version of your wordpress customization like you go to appearance and customization so this is what uh extra version looks like and it's pretty different cool and slick so the first thing here you have the option for you to search which is pretty much amazing but you can come to your general layout let's just walk through all of them one after the other you can choose your site layout if you want it wide box frame but that we all know all those things and then our mobile optimization you may want to turn this on when you are done with this website and one thing i like about this theme is that it is self-explanatory so for every of the future here you will see that if you over on them you will see this question mark option here so if you come here it will tell you about that future so, so it says this future helps to disable unused html css and js of the desktop element for the mobile version keep it disabled if you use a cache plug you so you see a place where this theme itself has its own seo platform where you can minimize javascript css and all those things and i think this is pretty pretty cool and that's why i say that this theme is like a one-stop solution sincerely you might not need to buy any premium plugin or any other thing just using this thing so i will turn this on literally but if i'm still designing my website i want to leave all these things as is side preloader as well you may want to turn this on in case you want to see maybe a preloader as your site is loading all these settings here are literally optional but it's your choice depending on what you want a static block i would leave all of these things here turned on very 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 important so this is for general layout so your breadcrumb i don't want to waste time here but you know what breadcrumbs has you want to turn on breadcrumbs for your website so that people can see people can navigate easily on your website that's literally up to you uh fantastic future there quite a number of things they have here your global sections your footer you can customize your footer uh, so if you come to your footer layout here you remember you can create a footer using static blocks so you can watch a tutorial here but i'm going to show you exactly how to do that so that's why i like this theme it is super self-explanatory you can also toggle on a sliding effect if you want that and widgets toggle on mobile so so you have several other options here from your footer styling to your copyright styling to back to top button you can also change things there so you can over around the footer itself and you will see this option here you can click this it will bring you down to the settings as well so that's super super cool uh, we're gonna get to how to edit all of these things eventually later but you can come to your editor builder as well your mobile panel your styling and colors 
you can come here also to change the colors on your website so as you can see our main color here is literally dark something around black so we can change that we can change a lot of things here background colors text colors how uh, you can customize this to suit your project and that's quite quite very very good uh typography your blog your portfolio social sharings your seo like i told you earlier that's very 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 good so I'm, i like to turn this on so with this turned on here you can put custom meta description meta keywords uh, this would help the seo of your website and i think that's quite very very good too as well i think i've spent time here and i don't want to spend forever here as well but everything here is super easy and self-explanatory uh custom theme css your site identity that's where you get to put your logo and also your site icon like this uh those are very very important too as well so your speed optimization i think i mentioned that earlier too as well so you can see you can come down here you can disable uh old browser support uh so that doesn't work on old server so you can also ajax menu drop down if you click this you will learn more about this you can improve the site loading speed and increase your website grade uh on web you can increase your website speed by just turning on this this is very very good uh menu cache menu drop down cache ajax search results if you want to turn this on too as well so you don't want to turn this on when you have other caching plugin on your website and that's very very important so you can come down here you can come and toggle on and off whatever is okay for you you can learn more about every of the future here by just hovering around them to read exactly what each of all of these things are for and i think that's very very good so if you're able to do this efficiently well you should be able to see significant uh improving your website speed and i think that's fantastic and also for your menu for your widget you can do some form of customizations here and once you are done the next thing you want to do is to hit the publish button uh, so that you can publish your changes this is published and that's it we are done here on the customizer i just want to close this so you can see for yourself how extremely elaborate their theme options are that means that it is not just a glaze over theme they are very 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 specific uh giving you lot of options for you to customize your website and i think i like that uh, so the next thing here is for us to check our extra builder and i think that's beautiful you see this future here is good for people who understand the implication of having website builders so you can literally build your theme yourself and because of this future i'm already considering trying to use this theme to design a clone and i'll show you how you can build your website so you can build your header you can build your footer you can build a single product builder uh, product archive builder your cart page builder your checkout page builder and this is specific for woocommerce for selling on your website and i think this is very 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 beautiful so we have one created template here for our header uh, we don't have any for our footer yet but we have pre-built template here that we can use to build our footer and also for a single product builder we can build how we want our product page to look like that's fantastic a single product and also our archive page i think i like this i love this so if you come down here let's go to the header and go to the builder and let's see what we have so right now you can see that we have our header builder here and this is pretty 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 beautiful so we can come down here we have our header main header here so this is our logo here we can change our logo this is our menu here we can change our menu and we can change all of these icons here we can customize them to suit our style and i think this is beautiful and if you come down here again you can see tutorials here you can watch tutorials to learn how to use this uh to build whatever you want to do and you have some prompts here too as well your connection blocks here which is quite very beautiful secondary menu all department uh, mobile menu compare futures, socials contact and these are beautiful 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 stuff
so we have uh, some connection blocks set up here and we can see them here so we can bring in we can drag and drop things here and we can see all our connection blocks just down here and i think that's very very beautiful so if i scroll down here you can see a number of things we can bring in here so for example all departments let's say i want to just bring that here i can just drag that here and we can see now on the website here we have a place for this menu here and this is a little bit short i might want to drag this something like this so you can see we now have this here so i can easily click here and then i can see all the departments i have departments are more like categories uh you have on your website so i can also maybe drag another button maybe somewhere here so you can see we have the button here so you can just keep building your header if you want but i will just delete all of this and then we can also over around every of the future here and then we can click this to really do edit them so you can see this is a menu style here we can switch we can change to whatever menu height style we want uh, that's literally up to so and that will open up this uh, menu configuration here so for you to choose your menu style uh, so this is what we have right now i might want to switch to something entirely different and i will see all of those changes on my live website so you can, so you can see uh what we have just selected is just reflecting right now so uh, let me switch this back so this is back and this is good so the next thing we can do we can still possibly customize our logo so if you click this so this is our logo here we can remove this we can select another image we can also set a logo for our retina we can also set a retina logo and then our custom sticky logo as well we can use different logo and we can also work around with the padding and margin for our logo this is beautiful so we can set our logo width just in case we want to reduce the size or we want to increase the size depending on exactly what we want to achieve on our website really uh, so that's it for this everything here is super self-explanatory so you can you can make changes to everything here for your cart as well icon you can click this so you can see the style here you can change the style if you don't want this let's say we want to use this icon here so you can see that we have the icon changed uh so and you can use your own custom svg and that's super super cool so this is exactly how to build your ether uh so you can do all of these things and then publish your changes and then your header is ready to use the same way your header your footer and the beauty about it is that we have a central place here where we can build all of these templates and it will be a template for the entire website so it's like you have your own theme designed and built and that's quite very very unique uh, this is the uh, feature that i see that gives me the confidence to easily uh, use this theme to literally clone any website so i can easily build a website a clone of a website with all of these things all of these things work literally with elementor if you want to see that tutorial from me how i can easily clone another e-commerce website using the extra theme you can let me know in the comment section i'll look to creating tutorials like that i think i should just continue using uh the main features here so the next thing you can see here is your sales booster and i think i like this too as well from x store uh there are a lot of features here that you can use to build your sales uh so this is a theme that's not just particular about the design also giving you features that you can use to build uh sales on your website for example the first thing here we have is a fake sale pop-up you must have seen this kind of a formal future on several e-commerce websites majority of them are fake like this uh so you can preview this for you to see exactly what that would look like so you can see now this future here someone recently bought a t-shirt 40 minutes ago view this product this future here sort of give uh your viewers or your website visitors this feeling that this a particular product is hot selling people are buying it and they also want to buy it 
uh, my few my concern basically for people is do you have good product this can easily build your website they can also destroy it you don't want to build foam or around uh, product that are not good if you have good product then you can turn this on because if they buy it they would definitely uh, testify that this is a very very good product and it can just keep giving you more reviews giving you more sales and then you are building your brand or building sales and that's good but if you have a very terrible product you turn that on and somebody buys that product uh that might not really be good for your so that's it for me so progress bar as well you may want to turn that on request a quote that can just pop up on your website for people to request a particular quote for a product uh, in case you want to sell maybe in bulk or in quantity and fantastic stuff there really uh cart or check down cart or check out countdown here cart or check out progress bar fake listing reviewing so this is almost similar to that. This just let people know that that's, uh, this amount of people are viewing this product right now. So it gives people this emergency to also want to buy. Item solid fake indicators, so estimated delivery, customer image reviews. This also is good. You may want to turn this on to allow customers to upload images of your product they bought from you to give real life feedback and i think that's beautiful there are quite a number of things that you can turn on here for you to boost your sales account loyalty program account register floating navigation panel advanced product reviews quantity discount you want to turn that on if people buy a certain amount you want to give discount based on the amount that people are buying and all these things are well thought out to help you improve the sales of your website. You would have literally needed to install a plugin for every of the features that you are seeing here. And for you to have all of these things together in this theme is super amazing. This is really, really, really odd. So you also want to come up here and then check whatever is okay for your site and then activate it for your website. The next feature we have here is the built-in image builder i love this as well you can activate this on your website for you to customize every emails that goes out of your website uh, this is beautiful so if you turn that on you can then come to your email builder so you can see that you have a template for every of the emails that uh, you are sending from your store for every of the email here you can read more about them and the type is written here so this one now is the invoice this is customer invoice for pending orders this is customer invoice for paid orders so you can basically just edit any of them it will open up an elemental based uh, page like this where you can customize your invoice so super simple you can just over around to customize every of this so you can put your logo here by clicking this this is a text element here but you may want to change it to maybe an image uh, so for example i can just drag in an image here and then i can select my image uh, come to my library okay so this is my logo here i can just use this so you can see so i can choose to delete my text logo i can delete that so for my image i can I play with the width. I can reduce it if I want to uh, to just fit my style. Something like that. Uh, I just want to maybe change it to 150. And you can have padding or margin. You can do quite a number of things. You can change this. You can add something entirely different. You can add a new image or do something you can change your text here i whatever whatever there are a lot of elements that you can bring in here you can bring in a button in case you want to maybe send them to their, to their account page shipping address coupon you may want to drop in a coupon code you may want to do so many things here and you may want to maybe put in uh the list of all selling products so you may want to drag that here uh quite a number of things you can do and i think this is beautiful and once you are done you can update this so you can use this email builder to design uh emails template for your woocommerce store 
how super amazing is this team. Uh, and I find this extremely, extremely beautiful. So that's it for this. So you can come here, your plugin installer, your custom, your static. Uh, beautiful, beautiful things here. You can also use ChatGPT here as your AI assistant. So this will require an API key. So if you click this link here to open ChatGPT, you can then log in into the back end. You can generate uh, an API key and you can bring that, you can paste that here and then you can use it to build your product, generate sub meta description for your product, generate title for your product, generate product descriptions. Uh, so you can just put keywords into your pages and it will generate content for you. You can use it to create content for your page. And I think this is quite very beautiful that it can work with AI for you to build your e-commerce store. I find this very, very, very beautiful. Just like I said, I can't literally just imagine how every of these things here can fit into a single tutorial. And that's why I'm just touching on what is possible on this tutorial. I'll be doing maybe further tutorials, further breakdown uh, into this in subsequent videos. If I want, to see, if you want to see more from Xtor. If you want to see more tutorials from Xtol, kindly let me know in the comment section. I really would appreciate those kind of feedbacks. Another thing here we will, I want to touch before I leave here is for us to touch our static blocks. Super beautiful, amazing future. Uh, something that you would hardly find everywhere. So if you can see that we have some, we have some static blocks already designed here. Let's come to the front end of our website. I already have a lot of tabs here. Let's just say we want to create a mega menu. We want to have a drop down here of all the items on our store, all the categories on our store. Let me just show you exactly how that works. So I think I would want to touch on that. Uh, so for example, let's add a new static block. Let's call this mega menu one. For example, you may want to have maybe more than one. Let's just make a menu one and then I can publish this. And after this is published, I can then choose to edit this with Elementor. So good, we have uh, this open up here. And the beauty about this is that there are a lot of extra widgets here that you can easily just bring in here for you to design your mega menu. And in case you have templates maybe from other websites or, or maybe Elementor templates somewhere you want to use. So you can just come up here and just come to your template and then add that template. But one thing you can do here is to use your Xtor Studio. So you can see we have this studio load up here and you have a ton of elements that you can easily bring into your website to design your website. This is beautiful. But let's filter this down to menu. So let's come to filter and let's come to mega menu. You can see we have 42 mega menu templates here. We can walk around this. And that's it. So we already have mega menus here that we can easily import into our website. How super cool is this? So if you scroll down, you can select any of the mega menu and there are a lot of them. As you can see for yourself, but well, I just don't want to waste so much time. Let me just pick uh, any random one here. So uh, let me just pick this. Uh, let me insert this into a uh, static. Just like that, we have this already populated. So you can see here we have, uh, for example, sub menu here that people can click. And then we have a product, maybe another sub sub menu here. We have helpline here. You can delete. This is elemental here. You can easily delete anything you want and add more. You can add two, three together, whatever you want to do really for you to have many options here. You have a section here for new products. You may want to click this for you to select what products you show, how many should show. Like you have two columns here. You may want to turn this to three or maybe you want to make it one, depending on what you really want to do really. So you can see that. Uh, so let's leave it at two. Two looks cool for that. Uh, so you can put links to all these categories if you have them on your website. So let's say you are selling boots on your website. You have a category for that. They might not be categories. They might be single products. That's literally up to you what you want to link to. So you can just come down here and click on the boots. Uh, you can change this if they are not boots, if they are something else you're selling. And then you can put the link here. 
uh, is that super simple and easy and once you're done linking all of this you can just literally just update your static html so that's it we are done with this so let's come back here and let's exit this uh, so our mega menu is done so for us to be able to add our mega menu to our menu right now so let's come to appearance and let's come to our menu so we have our menu here this is our main menu let's say i want to add another menu i want to call this product for example so i can just come to custom links i can give this a title called product i can add this to menu and then i can drag this maybe somewhere up here uh, so once that is done here i can then come to my link options here uh, so this is where i need to select what i want to do i want to select a mega menu a column let's just see we have five of them and then i want to select my static block which is my mega menu one that i just created and then i want to hit save changes there are still some options here that you might play around like set the width and the height of how you want uh the menu to display that's also a possibility so we can save this menu so that's it so let's come back to our website now and let's refresh this so you can see here we already have our product here as our menu so if we over on this so you can see we have our menu here isn't this super cool and with a short code, you can design as much as possible and display them anywhere on your website. So right now, I think uh, I should just spend a little time on the front end here, how to maybe customize your front end, your pages and all of that. Uh, if I come back to the back end here, there are still a lot of things like your portfolio, your slides, uh, widgets. And I think I've touched a good number of things on the back end on how to design your website. This is super, 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 super cool. So now let's spend a little time here before I end this tutorial on the front end. Uh, you want to make changes to your website right now here. Uh, let's just try to edit this with Elementor. So we have Elementor loaded here. It says YouTube API key cannot be loaded. Uh, SSL, uh, I've seen something like this before, but this would go by itself. So there's nothing to worry about there. So this page here, this whole slider here is loaded with slider revolution. Uh, maybe that's a part I'm not going to touch here in this tutorial. Slider revolution is another series of tutorials on its own. And you can just check tutorials online on, on slider revolution. So if you come down here, so you can see, you can edit this from new collection. You can want to change this from extra. Uh, I can design changes on my live website. I can also design this this is just basic elemental tutorial i believe you should be able to know your way around elemental super simple page builder to use i can just want to say on that for example that's how that's how to do this and then you have your image here you may want to set this load more to maybe a particular uh category of your product you want to put that link here you may want to do all of that change all the images if you click this right now you should be able to change this image here to whatever image of your product on your store uh, and i think that's quite very very cool and also here as well you may want to change that too as well so this is a product view all item this should take people to your store so this is already linking to each store so you want to change this to your store your shop page here so i can literally just copy this link here and then i can paste that here to my shop page and then i can customize my product tab here i can click this so this is displaying as a slider because it's sliding i might want to change this to a grid or to a list whatever is cool with you so you can see that right now i can just do grid and if i do that so you can see i have all the list of all my products here uh, this is super cool isn't this uh, so i might want to leave this as a slider so have the product just keep sliding here and that's good so top trending as well you can customize this this is super simple with elementor come down here you can 
make this a slider tool as well or make this a grid whatever you want to do there are a lot of things you can do here from if you want to remove space between sliders box shadow and over you want to do quite a number of things here i'll have people know how many products you have left in stock uh, so those are the things that you can work around so your, for your product view you can inherit the view so from your product here you can your product view color your default image over effect you can play around all of these for your query as well your product all types you can filter deals down to a particular product it can be recently viewed product your best selling product or your future product uh, so instead of leaving in that all you may want to maybe restrict this future product so you want to make sure that inside of your woocommerce product you toggle product you want to future here as future product so you can see no product is showing right now because we don't have any future product we don't have any future product on our woocommerce and that's it so we may want to limit this to categories too as well so you may just want to uh, leave this to casuals uh, basically just show casual styles that's literally up to you to filter whatever product we want to show here to a particular category so i'll cancel this uh, this is just to show you what's possible and what's not possible so the same thing for your best sellers so you can create this block here for literally every category you have on your website you can create best sellers future products new products and you can filter them down to all of those things and display them on your front page all these things are possible and that's why i like this uh, most people sell with via WooCommerce also wants to sell on your Instagram page. So you can just bring in images of your uh, images you post on your Instagram and you can just bring down. So you can click this here and then you see you are, there's, there's an image here. You can use a tool like Canva to design images like this. Just bring in three, four, five, six images you upload on your Instagram page and then arrange them in a format like this and then you can upload that here just like it has been done here and then you can just join your instagram and just put your art here and then link this to your instagram page so that people can follow you on your instagram page to see more awesome product that's it for that you can also edit this you can change free shipping custom delivery 50 percent cashback whatever you want to wow your customers with so i believe this is super super cool and easy to do you can still bring in a lot of things here you can check all the elements they have here animated headline you can start tick blocks you can bring down here flip blocks there are a lot of elements here and these are elements you find also on elementor pro and i think this is beautiful so you can also go to their studio for you to bring whatever template you want to bring into this page let's say for example let's just bring in any random uh, template here so let's insert this even though it's talking about nft you can easily just change this text and then change everything here to suit your style and that's it that's exactly how to use this amazing theme in subsequent videos i will start using this theme to build specific types of woocommerce so i can focus on just trying to design uh, specific types of WooCommerce website or general website. But this is this video is just to walk you through all the features and everything that you can do with this theme. And I think this is quite very, very fantastic. I love this theme and I love what you can do with this theme. So once you're done, since this is Elementor, you can just update this and then we can view this page to see what we have all right so this is super super cool so that's exactly how you can do this so you can come to your shop page you can come to your about page you can customize it. so beautiful we can customize uh, the look of our shop page here in our theme builder uh, i will touch more on that on subsequent videos and also you can go to other pages on the website you can still play around with more customization for example for our about page we may want to have a different uh maybe header or footer for our page which is very very possible we can create pages we can create footers with we can create a footer or a header with uh static blocks and then we can edit our page 
I can close this and then I can come down here so you can see layout you can change the layout for this particular page uh, you can like I told you if, if you have ChatGPT configured with your store you can just come down here and then you can use uh, ChatGPT to generate content for your page uh, also for footer or preloader for example you may want to use custom pre footer for this page like I told you earlier you can use uh, static like maybe mega menu or something extremely so you can see from here and i can choose a mega menu or, or choose any other static blocks that we have designed here and this is super 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 cool so that's it that's uh so many things you can do with extra theme i'll be doing more tutorials around this theme in the nearest future i'm walking you step by step some of these things how you can easily use them how you can design them how you can get the best out of them so if you love this tutorial if you love extra theme you can check the video description for you to see a link for you to buy and then you can start using this and then subscribe to this youtube channel for you to see more awesome tutorials uh on extra themes from me i would be doing more tutorials definitely in the future to make you see uh, more things specific things that you can do with this theme and that's my time for this tutorial i hope i've been able to show you that this theme has got a lot a lot that you can do i've not even talked this tutorial is not even a woocommerce tutorial because i've not touched anything around woocommerce or your product or how to create uh variations for your product and those things i will touch more on them in subsequent tutorials so if you're excited about those tutorials, subscribe to see more of those tutorials from me. And that's my time for this tutorial. I'll see you in those subsequent tutorials. And until then, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.